Hi there and welcome to Infoco. During the coronavirus pandemic, many companies are implementing voluntary or mandatory work from home policies. That means that most of us are dealing with an unusual challenge of working from home. While working remotely is a double-edged sword, sure, you get to stay home, but it can be harder to focus on actually working. These tips will help you make sure that you're successful, both at getting your work done and at maintaining your mental well-being. Number 1. Starting your day right. It is tempting to stay in your pajamas all day, however, giving in to this temptation results your day a slower start and less productive overall. You don't need to dress as formally as you might for work, but the simple act of washing up and changing clothes serves as a signal that it's time to wake up and get things done. By just cleaning up and putting on clothes suitable for public viewing makes you feel human and confident. This will help draw the line between being at work and being just at home. To feel human might seem like an odd thing to have to actively think of but it's especially important at the time like this to keep you attached to your normal life and the real world. Take a shower, brush your hair, even put on makeup if that's what you'd usually do. Waking up and taking care of your appearance can go a long way toward helping you feel like you're taking care of yourself. Number 2. Create a home office workspace. It is very important in keeping your work and home lives separate. If you never fully disconnect from work, your work productivity will suffer and your home life can take a hit as well. The separation between work and home is physical, and you want to try to recreate that as much as possible with a designated physical workspace at home. Your workspace doesn't have to be its own room but it should feel as separate from the rest of your home as possible. Try to make your workspace comfortable with a chair you can sit in for 8 hours a day and a few decorations. Find an area with good natural lighting if at all possible. That's why it's also important not to spread yourself across your home, while it might seem great to be able to move from desk to couch to bed, if you let your laptop creep into your downtime space, it makes it harder to keep your work separate from your home life. The key here is to do whatever you need to do to leave your workspace. Number 3. To find your working hours. Just as you designate and separate your physical workspace, you should be clear about when you're working and when you're not. This means holding yourself accountable, but also recognizing when enough is enough, just as a good manager might. Tell yourself it's time to put work away, recharge, and start tomorrow with a fresh mind. Get your best work done and be most ready to transition back to the office if you stick with your regular hours. The work will be there in the morning. Communicate with the people you live with to establish boundaries so you can cut down on distractions during the workday, and then disconnect and give the people you care about your full attention. If you live with other people, this separation is even more critical. Having a separate time and space to work will allow you to be more present in your home life. Plus, if your role is collaborative, being on the same schedule as your co-workers makes everything much easier. Number 4. Create transitions in and out of work. Your morning commute not only gets you to work from one physical location to another, but it also gives your brain time to prepare for work. Commuting to work is a kind of transition to give your brain time to prepare for work. Just because you're not traveling doesn't mean you shouldn't carve our equivalent to the routines to help you ease your workday. At home you can read the newspaper, listen to the music, or even do some cooking for breakfast. At the other end of the day, the evening commute does the reverse. Commuters often take for granted the time they have in the car, or on the train to wind down from a hectic workday and mentally prepare themselves for their evening routine. Give yourself something that will signal the end of work and serve as a buffer. Cook dinner or take your dog for a long walk as soon as you are done for the day. Number 5. Don't get media overdosed. Right now one of the biggest distractions is the news. You probably already take a few breaks throughout the day at the office, and that's fine to do at home, too. However, if you're working remotely because of the new coronavirus, checking in on COVID-19 updates is going to be at the front of your mind. It's good to stay informed, of course, but it's also easy to scroll yourself into an anxious mess. Using that time to throw in a load of laundry is okay, but try not to look at your new work arrangement as an opportunity to finally clean out that closet or anything else that takes a lot of sustained focus. You don't want to get too immersed and forget that you're at work altogether. If you're someone who's susceptible to getting distracted every time you get a news alert, turn your notifications off during the workday, too. Distraction is one of the big challenges facing people who work from home especially people who aren't used to it. Number 6. 
communication with your colleagues. If you don't usually work from home, chances are there will be some bumps in the road if you have to suddenly go fully remote. You'll also encounter unique challenges as you try to do your job remotely, which can vary greatly depending on the type of work you do. Don't hesitate to reach out to the same people you would usually turn to for help, even if you're not in the same building as them. Come up with a plan that lays out expectations for how often you should check in and how you'll convey any changes or new assignments to one another. And you don't have to stick with only text-based communication. You might find it's best to check in with your boss and co-workers over the phone or through video chat. This will cut down on miscommunication and break up some of the social isolation that can come from working from home. Number 7. Keep on socializing. When the whole office suddenly starts working from home, you're cutting off a lot of the casual social interactions you're used to having throughout the day that help you feel less lonely and break up the monotony of work. Solve this by talking with your coworkers throughout the day through the many social medias e. Line, WhatsApp, WeChat, or however your company communicates. You can also schedule morning video call kickoffs with your whole team so you make space for that first getting into work small talk or carve out time for other check-ins throughout the day. While you're at it, don't just check in with coworkers about this project or that TV show you both like. Lots of us are feeling anxious and uncertain right now, and suddenly being isolated at home can amplify these feelings. Don't hesitate to reach out to a coworker just to ask how they're doing. When the world is in frantic, it's more important than ever that we reach out, connect, and take care of one another. While you might miss the office, working full-time from home can be good for you. For one, you don't have to worry about commuting every day and you can better care for your loved ones by being around more often. The work from home tips that we have provided can help you make the most of your new routine. Try out a few and you might find that you're just as productive working from home as you are in the office. Hope you have enjoyed and find this video useful. Also be sure to check out other of our videos as well. Thank you for watching.